guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, we are starting off with brows. I'm using Brow Wits by Anastasia in soft brown, starting at the base of the brow and just using short strokes as always, going through the brow towards the tail end. And I have just been sticking to the brow wits. I know that the brow definer is a little bit more um, efficient, but I don't know. I've just been grabbing the brow wits and just been. You know, doing a quick brow with that. It's just super easy, super natural. Setting it with the clear brow gel, kind of pushing those brow hairs up. And then I'm using the Light Medium Honey Tart Shape Tape Concealer to conceal. I'm using this brush love brush that doesn't exist anymore, but the E30 by Sigma is very, very similar. So I will put that down below. So I'm just going to smooth out this concealer, sharpen the brow, and your finger is the best blender, so that's what I always end up doing. I'll just shape it out and then just kind of blend it into the skin with my fingers. For primer, as always, I'm using the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I'm using a P86 brush from Sigma to put this on. This makes it nice and easy so I don't have to dig my nails in there. I'm using a MAC 224 Oldie with a Goodie with the Taupe Notch Palette by Violet Voss, starting off with Bestest, and this is going to be our transition color for the most part. I love this palette. The pigment is amazing, but I wish they had a black. If they had a black, it would be like life-changing, just because they need that dark um, little bit of contrast in there. Uh, otherwise, the colors are gorgeous, uh, but you know, you just need a little bit of contrast in there because it is a lot of taupe. Um, it's a lot of, you know, repetition in there, so I feel like if they just put just some colors to kind of contrast with, it would have been even better. But I love the palette anyway. So just blending it back and forth. After uh, first class, I'm going to take uh, world class, and I'm going to put that on the outer V, just kind of darkening things up. That's what I was really trying to do, was darken things up on the outer V to kind of just smoke it out. And then I'm going to add Supreme with a cream color, E58. I'm going to wet it with some Primer Water by Smashbox and just drag the eyeshadow down in the inner lid, kind of stopping it at the three-quarter mark, I guess, on your eye, and sharpening it there. So I wanted it to be really, really clean and then turn really, really smoky. So that is what I'm doing here, but what a beautiful color. It's like a maroon gray. It was very, very interesting. Now I'm bringing in Prime and blending it with the same brush, 2.3 Samey. And this is where I was like struggling. I was like trying to blend it and then I was like, you know what, I think I need black. So I took the Morphe 35O palette. This is the number two palette. And I took an E25 from Sigma and just patted along the outer V area. Kind of going along with the shape that I created, that little sharp line, I guess, what, what would you call that? Sharp V line? What would you, I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. You guys know what I mean. Cleaning it up, and then I'm going to put some eyeliner on using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. We're going to do a pretty dramatic wing. Nothing too thick, but I would like it to be long, so just, this is the best eyeliner ever. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with it, and just haven't found an eyeliner that can replace this honestly um, in this form I do love the Tarte Tardis liner but this liner for easy breezy not cover book girl but easy breezy you know eyeliner seriously this is the best for mascara I'm using this little tiny Tarte Tardis mascara because I ran out of a big one just picked up another one though so I'm excited so I'm just going to coat my lashes with that bring them up to my brows hopefully one day for lashes I'm using Gigi Bell lashes and toots we are sold out of these right now but I promise they will be coming back because they are my favorite besides the Giannas but um, I'm gonna pop those babies on with some Huda Beauty lash glue and just look at that Ugh, I'm just obsessed with how these look they're so dramatic but spaced out enough where you can see the eyeshadow and it just you know it just pumps it up I don't know why it took me so long to say that. I'm just gonna pop these on with some Tweezer Man tweezers. I think these are the Huda Beauty ones that I'm using too. The Huda Beauty Tweezer Man tweezers. And they're so pretty. 
Now starting with the face, I'm using the Complexion Primer by Huda Beauty as well. This is a Huda Beauty day. I wanted to try out this primer because I completely forgot I had it. And it's so moisturizing, you guys. It smells delicious. And it's so moisturizing. I'm using the Huda Beauty Butter Pecan Faux Filter Foundation. Wish this was a little darker. I know it's a little light for me. I'm using the Sigma Max Kabuki 3D HD brush. Just blending it out. You can see it's a little light for me right now because I was a little tan. But I feel like it'll be absolutely my winter color. So I'm like hesitant to buy a darker shade because I just know I'm going to get paler. So I probably should just mix it with like a, just a little bit of a dark foundation just to kind of get that. Even though I hate doing that because it's just such an annoying thing, but whatever. I'm putting on some Tarte Shape Tape in medium and then light medium honey to kind of highlight. And then I'm using the Sigma 3D HD Blender, my favorite. Even though I've tried the Japanese one and I'm obsessed. So I will show you guys that. I don't know if you've seen that bounce it around on Instagram, um, but it's really, really nice. It kind of reminds me of the old Tarte blender. And I'm a little obsessed with it. And I've actually put my 3D HD blender on the side for a little bit because it's been so good to me. I'm trying out the Rich uh, Tarte Shape Tape to contour with because I've always wanted to do this, but I wasn't sure if the Shape Tape was thick, like too thick to blend. But it turned out really, really nice. So I actually will probably be doing this more often. So, you know, I'm just using light. I'm really not re-dipping. I'm just using whatever is on that sponge tip and just putting it in those areas. I'm also contouring my lips because I remember I used to do that a lot and love the way it came out. So I figured why not do it again? And then I'm just going to do my jaw a little bit too. And just kind of blend that out. Well, not really blend it out, line it out, and then we're gonna blend with this Zoeva 168 brush. This is an oldie but a goodie, and sometimes I like to use a natural hair brush to blend. Something small and dense like this is really, really good. It's something that's made for contour and has that, you know, contour thin, you know, side sort of bristles. I feel like this one is definitely made for contour. It really just helped to blend those areas without moving the product too much. And it just, it worked out really, really well. I was really, really happy with the way this came out. So I'm just blending that all out, blending the lips. And yeah, it didn't turn out to be too thick. It blended really beautifully, especially with the foundation. I was very happy and I will be doing this again, except but what are your favorite brushes to blend contour out with? I would love to see your suggestions below. I would love to see your favorite contours below. Comment them. This is a nice bronzy contour. And I kind of needed a little extra bronze because, you know, that foundation was just a tad light. So it kind of helped me out. Now to set, I'm using the Translucent Powder by Kat Von D, the Locket Setting Powder. You can see the little tip ripped off of the 3D HD blender. And I was like, what the heck? I think I just got a little too aggressive, so I'm just going to set underneath the cheek ones as well. And the chin and the forehead a little bit. Now for contour, I'm not going to go crazy, but I'm going to mix these two shades using the KKW Beauty Medium Contour Kit with an old Sephora angled brush. And we're just going to kind of sculpt those cheeks just a little more and just kind of set where we put that contour. Again, like I barely touched the contour kit and I'm just kind of dusting this on. With an M138, I'm taking First Class and Prime, and I'm just going to blend that on the lower lash line, smoke it out and connect everything, and then going in with the Tarte Tardis Mascara again, such a tiny little brush. I'm wiping everything away with the F25 from Sigma, all of that extra powder that we do not need. I'm just kind of blending out the face a little bit. Going in with Super and an E56 by Sigma, this little tiny shade of brush, which is perfect for inner corner highlight and brow highlight. I'm going on the inner corner and the brows. Kind of glowing up there. For blush, I'm using Peaceful by Tarte. This is their 12 hour Amazonian. This is my favorite. These are my favorite blushes right now. I haven't found like blushes that I've been obsessed with lately, besides the Tarte ones. Now I'm using Me Money Hustla Baby by Fenty Beauty. Love the names, seriously. 
and just putting this all over my face because it's just delicious. And to set, I'm using the Tatcha Dewy Mist Spray, putting that all over. And then we're gonna, you know, change it up with the lips. I decided to use the Mink Lip Kit by Kylie Cosmetics. Love the way this came out. Her darker colors are bomb. I mean, I like her nudes, but these dark colors, they feel so good on the lips and they're just freaking bomb. That's all I could say. And the liners, you guys know I'm obsessed with, so. I just love the way this like was like a taupe look. Like the whole look was taupe. It kind of was like a monochrome color. And I just, a uh, monochrome look, and I just really, really dug that. So putting that all over, being a little fancy. But just look at that color. It has like gray tones in it. It's got a little purple, but it, it's brown. Like it looks different on everybody. And on me, I was surprised how gray it looked, but I actually loved it. So that's it, you guys, for this tutorial, this holiday grunge tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see next because I will be taking suggestions. Also, a um, little announcement. I will be having a 12 days of Christmas giveaway. So that is something to be excited about. Not sure exactly when in December I will be having it. Not sure if I'm going to start in the middle or what. But I will be having it soon. So subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. And thumbs this video up too if you enjoyed it. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.